Eternal Father, through the heart of Jesus, your Son, in union with Mary, the mother of Jesus, Saint Joseph, her husband, Saint Anne, Saint Christopher, and all the saints, I humbly offer this holy office with all the priests of our sodality, as a sign of love and as a means of reparation. I offer this office for the faithful departed, for the glory of the holy and undivided Trinity, and for the salvation of the whole world. Welcome to our service of night prayer. I'm Reverend Anne. I am the vicar of the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher. I will be leading this service. Diane Scott, our reader, will be responding. And I invite you to join with Diane in the responses. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for sleep. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. And so we sing. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy constant favour thou wouldst be our God and keeper now. Allow our hearts to dream of thee, be through the sleep of night to see, then with the light of dawn may we thy glory praise unceasingly. O oh, grant us health of life once more, the warmth of day to us restore, and pierce the gloomy dark of night with splendid beams of thy pure light. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Have mercy, Lord. And hear our prayer. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches, he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. 
for you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading from Holy Scripture comes this evening from the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 24. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Let us pray. That you will give us a quiet night and a perfect end. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will have mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this night without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guard us and give us your blessing. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Anne, Saint Christopher, and all your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. 
as the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. <laughs>